Hi, I'm Pato, and these are my books. I recently got rid of like 50 of them and realized I've never really talked about my taste or what I've read in general, so hopefully this helps illustrate that. Although, I'm not going to go into detail about what these books are about. If you like something, let me know, and if I haven't already read it, I'll bump it up in my TBR. Thanks. So starting off with the accessories, we have this self-portrait that's made of clay, which is so cool. I love this. Then, less cool, we have a Funko Pop, which, don't drag me, it was a gift, so I would feel bad if I got rid of it. It's Canty from Fully Cooly, one of my favorite shows. So, first book, I'm gonna go like kind of rapid fire from here, but Piranesi by Susanna Clark. After the Quake by Murakami. Memories of Eminon by Kenji Tsuruda, The Year of Magical Thinking by Joan Didion, Dance 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 by Murakami, The Setting Sun by Osamu Dazai, My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante, Killing Comentadore, Norwegian Wood, Hear the Wind Sing, and Pinball, After Dark, Blind Willow Sleeping Woman, and The Elephant Vanishes, all by Murakami. No Longer Human by Osamu Dazai, My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Otessa Moshveg, Let the Great World Spin by Colin McCann, Hard Boiled Wonderland at the End of the World and The Wind Up Bird Chronicle, Out by Natsuo Kirino, South of the Border, West of the Sun, and Men Without Women. I think there's only one more Murakami, so sorry, I know that the shelf screams male manipulator, but it gets better, I think, hopefully. <laughs> No One Belongs Here More Than You by Miranda July and Volumes 1 through 7 of Goodnight Poon Poon by Inu Asano. And that's the shelf. At least it looks pretty. <laughs> On to the second one, and starting off we have The Princess Bride by William Goldman, Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky, N.W. by Zadie Smith, Never Let Me Go and the Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro Outline by Rachel Cusk Changing My Mind by Zadie Smith Devotions by Mary Oliver Homesick for Another World by Otessa Moshfeg 1Q84 by Murakami Pink by Kyoko Okazaki Super Dimensional Love Gun by Shintaro Kago This is the only book I've ever had to show my ID to buy So it's pretty fucked up <laughs> And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. I've been dog-earing the pages that stand out, and there's so many. Emma by Jane Austen, The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, and Breasts and Eggs by Mieko Kawakami. Autumn by Ali Smith. Gilead by Marilyn Robinson. Play It As It Lays by Joan Didion. Eileen by Otessa Moshvig. The Liars Club by Mary Carr. The Vegetarian by Han Kang, Clara and the Sun by Kazuo Ishiguro, 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Death in Her Hands by Otessa Moshvig, and Pilgrim at Tinker Creek by Annie Dillard. Okay, let's take a breath. Next are some manga that are all in Japanese. I took Japanese for six years, but I read these in English, although I did buy some of these in Japan, which is insane to be able to say. So, anyways, this is the first volume of Vagabond by Inoue Takehiko, Nana by Ai Yazawa, Hunter Hunter by Yoshihiro Togashi, One Piece by Eiichiro Oda, The Tatami Galaxy by Tomihiko Morimi, and then this one is a gift for a friend, which is why it's still wrapped, but the novelization of Your Name. Tatami Galaxy was also a novel, not a manga, but either way, that's this shelf done. It was a pretty heavy one. The other ones are not as full, thankfully. Okay, the last shelves should be pretty easy. Sorry about the angle, by the way, but it's like seven feet in the air. Anyways, starting off, we have two omnibus volumes of Neon Genesis Evangelion from 1 to 3 and 4 to 6. The first volume of Death Note, Soul Eater, Attack on Titan, and Pokemon Adventures. Then we have volumes 1 and 2 of Ping Pong. Then, we have volumes 1 through 15 of Homunculus. Then, at the very end, we have the Uzumaki coloring book, which also was a gift. 
Thanks, Ethan. And now there's only one more shelf to go. Starting off, we have Four Past Midnight by Stephen King, which doesn't have a cover. Then we have Night Shift, which I use as a designated sticker holder. Following that, we have The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas, Confessions by Kanae Minato, We the Animals by Justin Torres, The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson, Cherry by Mary Carr, Kizu Monogatari, and books 1, 2, and 3 of Ake Monogatari by Nisi Oisin. The other books on my desk are library books, but I have Housekeeping by Marilyn Robinson, Assembly by Natasha Brown, and Black Swans by Eve Babbitts right now. On top is a picture of me and my best friend in Japan, like I mentioned earlier, but I usually cover it up with Yu-Gi-Oh cards because priorities. I also have some assorted Pokemon stuff and a little Karibo plushie. I have a couple more actually. I have Chopper and Gengar, Totoro, Teddy, Aporo, Psyduck, and Snorlax. What's a bigger red flag by the way? Having this many plushies or owning that many Murakamis? Let me know. But yeah, once again, these are all my books. Hopefully that was entertaining or relaxing or anything really. If you have any thoughts at all, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, um, thanks for watching and goodbye.